Hey people, it's Nyan's Toki. Now, I love doing black artist videos and I love doing positive videos about people who've done good things. So this is both of these. I really love this one. This is from NBC News. Meet the student bringing black illustrations to the medical field. Chidie Bere Ibe said he hopes his creation will change the field of medical illustration, which is predominantly white and male. Have you ever seen a medical illustration featuring a black body? Social media users admitted they hadn't when an image of a black fetus in a black woman's womb went viral this month. Chidi Bere, sorry, Chidi Bere Ibe, 25, is behind the image. I think he is Ibo, the Nigerian medical student who will enter Kiev Medical University in Ukraine next month, describes himself as a self-taught medical illustrator. He said he spent at least a year learning to draw anatomy focusing on black skin every step of the way. I wasn't expecting it to go viral, eBay said, an aspiring pediatric neurosurgeon said of the in image in the interview. I was just sticking up for what I believe in, advocating for equality in health through medical illustrations. I made a deliberate action to constantly advocate there be inclusion of black people in medical literature. He began publishing the images on social media showing conditions like empyema forasis and seboric eczema on black skin. Many of the images show skin conditions prevalent with black people, combating a misrepresentation that often leads to misdiagnosis. The fetus illustration went viral after a Twitter user shared the photo, writing, I've literally never seen a black fetus illustrated, ever. The post, and this goes back to what I often say about black artists. I often said about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I said, we know black, I mean, white artists that we can name and add to the culture. There are thousands upon thousands of black artists, yet how many people could name any of them ever without looking it up? The post was retweeted more than 50,000 times and the illustration garnered more than 88,000 likes on Instagram and even made its way to TikTok. eBay drew praise from medical professionals far and wide. Little did I understand what the drawing meant to a lot of people. On my LinkedIn, on my Twitter, on my Instagram, I read the comments and they really touched me. I was crying, eBay said. It was amazing to see how good people felt about it. People could see themselves in the drawing. eBay said he became Ill interested in medical illustrations after graduating with an undergraduate degree in chemistry from the University of Uyo in Nigeria and preparing to enter medical school. eBay, who leads creative design at the Association of Future African Neurosurgeons, was working under Dr. Ulrich Sidney Kenmunye, and I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, at the association to learn anatomy drawing when he said he came to a realization the drawings I saw aren't in black skin. This launched him into studying medical illustration and focusing on black skin. A little over a year later, eBay said the viral images have landed him an offer to pursue a PhD at New York University after a medical school. Anatomy drawings have been around for thousands of years when medical illustration was established as a profession in the United States in the late 19th century, according to the Association of Medical Illustrators, AMI. The lack of black representation in medical journals and textbooks is no secret though. A January study by researchers at the University of Pennsylvania found that just 4.5% of images in general medicine textbooks show dark skin. Nika Ford, the chairman of AMI's diversity committee, said this is an extension of medical racism. And let I want to say that this is not some passive uh, thing where they say, we forgot. There has always been an active effort to deny black people anything. Mm -hmm. This field is so closely connected to medicine and healthcare, which have a lot of roots in systemic racism. So that's a big part of it, Ford said. Medical illustrations have all historically have always been very predominantly white and male-centered. A lot of textbooks have already been published and are already in the rounds around the world, and they are very exclusionary in the visual content of people of different backgrounds. A mostly black, that's what they mean by different backgrounds. The few black medical illustrators in the predominantly white field have been working to fight the injustice, Ford said. Earlier this year, she and the association's diversity team launched the AMI diversity campaign, urging medical illustrators everywhere to post the work of non-white bodies. Ford said the association plans to hold the campaign annually. The team is also working on efforts to get more black people into the field. Ford, who has been a practicing medical illustrator for four years, said diverse medical illustrators are imperative for making diagnoses. She described medical illustrations as visual education material that plays a major role in training medical professionals. It literally affects patient health at the end of the day, she said. She added that the diverse medical illustrations promote empathy in doctor-patient relationships and in turn improve patient care. I want to change that. 
a lot of these people not having empathy for black people is not simply because they don't understand how sickness relates to related to black people. A lot of these people do not care about black people altogether. There needs to be more black doctors who understand black people straight up. When patients see reflective medical illustrations in their doctor's office, it promotes trust and honest communication that are often vital in medical care, Ford said. There are a lot of positive implications for both the medical field and the patient when illustrations reflect different skin types, Ford added, and Ibe agreed. I believe everybody deserves to be seen, he said. In the US, there are a lot of health care disparities. So this is a call to everybody that everybody should matter and there should be health equality for everybody. Okay, well, I've done that. I'm going to leave this article in the description. And if I can do it right, I'm going to leave his images in the video so you can see them. So if you would like to support this channel, I'll leave my cash up. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave it there as well. If you would like to buy one of our t-shirts, I'll leave that there as well. And I will leave his social media links so you can follow him as well. And I'll make sure to uh, mark out his so that everyone can be clear and not accidentally follow mine by mistake. Anyway, peace.